All right, what's going on, guys? Sean Don coming back with a technical analysis. Here we have Joshua Weisswanger. Uh, technical analysis number three on the season. Love to see that consistency in uh, in terms of I don't know, kind of getting back to me and and continuing to seek uh, more solutions, if you will. Uh, so you sent me two videos, Josh. Um, I was gonna pick this one just based on quality alone. The other one was very grainy and like hard to really see. Um, the ball and, and stuff like that um, because the quality was so low. But even then, this one's just a better throw, I think, in general. So I think it's uh, going to be easier to kind of pick out the things that um, uh, you're doing better. So let's take a look. Yeah, better direction. Yeah. So, once again, I reviewed your previous technical analysis that I did for reference. Um, so, in this one, um, still got to reach this, you know, kind of right arm back a little bit more. Um, something that might help is thinking about trying to pull this right elbow more up and back. As you can see, as soon as the ball comes around, that right elbow is drop, dropping down, pulling down. If you try to think, winding with this right elbow a little bit higher and think of kind of, as it comes through here, think about reaching this right elbow up high and pull back, pull this right elbow back towards 180 instead of just kind of dropping it down by your side. Um, also, it might help if you turn your head and look to the right a little bit. Um, looks like you're looking just pretty much at zero. Um, if you kind of look, let's say, 45 degrees before zero or even over towards 90, might be a little drastic, but uh, it'll help open up the shoulders and make it feel like you can reach back more with that right hand so you can get a bigger um, radius on these wines. Um, same thing here. You can see the right elbow comes back even less than it did in the first wind. It doesn't even really clear past that shoulder much. Um, so that's something you still got to keep working on. Otherwise, let's see. See, it looks like your head has totally disappeared. Once again, quality is not, uh, not prime. I don't know if it's just, I think it's when I download it from uh, my phone and then email it. I don't know, just just quality is not, not, not the best. Um, but we're going to make it work. Uh, so yeah, same, like I said, just got to reach that right arm out more. Um, that'll help give you more tension in the entry. Um, that being said, you're settling down really nice here. I like this. You're settling down into the legs. Same sort of pendulum you had. This position, I don't know, if, once again, if it's just a different angle, but this through here looks way better. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So the problem in the in the previous video was that, like, as you're coming through on entry, this uh, right foot wasn't really turning, and the left foot was doing a lot of turning. Um, and now they're both turning together, if you can suss that out through the quality. As you can see it right here, this is much better. Much better through there. So that's very good. Very good improvement there. Uh, like I said, you're just deeper in the legs. You still have this pendulum back. Posture's pretty good. Your torso's pretty much upright. But you're still on those bent knees. Both lower body, upper body, left side, right side, all turning together as the hammer goes around. I think you could maybe... Could maybe get the shoulders back just a little bit more. Or vice versa, the hips a little bit more forwards. Um, that's kind of nitpicking though. Like I said, I think the the general movement here is much better. But then, as you can see towards the end, like good good end of double support. But then just after that, you can see this these hips kind of push backwards a little bit. You want those hips a little bit more towards the ball, especially like in this position right here. You want those hips more towards the hammer. So a cue that you can think about is is driving that right hip towards the high point. Um, think about reaching this right hip to where the ball is going in single support. You do it towards the end of single support, but I think if you get it going a little bit earlier, it'll help you catch this a little bit sooner. Uh, otherwise, you catch, level shoulders. Once again, with this with this camera quality um, and just the distance of how far it is from the circle, it's hard to tell exactly how like tight you are in the arms and stuff because you can't really see the, the tone of the muscles or the finer movements if you will. Um, 
but you catch level shoulders. Looks like the hips underneath you. Um, facing the sector a little bit. Pretty solid. And then so same thing. I think you set that direction up really well in the first turn. So as you can see, you're gonna come through here. Pretty solid tension or pretty solid uh, direction again. You're leaning back through zero. You can see a little bit of tension up in this left shoulder as this left shoulder goes up as the ball goes through zero. As you can see, it's very subtle in the quality of the video, but this right left shoulder is a little bit higher than the right. Um, otherwise, lower body is still turning pretty well with the hammer. It looks like that left side is taken over a little bit, but it's definitely better than it was. Um, so one thing you could also think about is literally in, in the winds, in the entry, and in every turn, you can think about kind of keeping this left shoulder down. That doesn't mean you need to like over accentuate and and literally tilt the left shoulder down. But if you think about just keeping left shoulder uh, kind of having pressure down where it's literally from the shoulder down to the ground, um, that can help mitigate a little bit of that tension, help you feel that right side a little bit more. Because as soon as this left side pulls up and away, it kind of takes tension away from the right side. But if you keep that left shoulder locked in, uh, kind of one level down towards the ground. Um, then that'll help keep the levels or the shoulders level. Like I said, feel that right side more. Um, but yeah, you can see it's it's more drastic here. You can see some tension up in the shoulders, left shoulder pulling up. More down in the legs, this left knee's dropping more towards 180, which is better. You could still do it a little bit sooner, but it's definitely better than it was. Left leg not as straight in general. Um, and then you can see a little funkiness through here. Because it looks like you're working your hands down while the ball's up. So if you can see where the ball goes through these four or five frames, and then try to compare it to where your hands go. The ball goes up, your hands go down. That means you're kind of pulling and clamping down on the ball, which is once again a sign that you're kind of too tight through the arms and the shoulders. Um, so really let that ball go. Let it ball let the let the ball grow towards the sector. Relax the hands, let the ball take its natural path, work the lower body, work the torso. Um, catch, pretty solid, and then same thing, you're coming through, you lose direction just a little bit here, so you don't quite get that same impulse backwards, as you can see, it's once again very tough, um, you see this left heel doesn't ground until just about there, you see the left foot moving, 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 and then it finally stops as the ball just passes zero. Um, if you can get this left heel down a little bit sooner, once again, kind of thinking about getting it down in the direction of 180 as the ball's going through zero, you want that left heel to ground before the ball gets through zero. Otherwise, that left side is going to take over a little bit more. And I think this might be a result of that sort of uh, upper body tension through here. Shortens the path of the hammer a little bit. So then the whole timing of your body's off a little bit. You lose a little bit of direction. That left heel doesn't come down. I'd say it's the opposite. Your left heel doesn't come down as soon as it needs to, so you lose a little bit of direction and tension. This left shoulders, you can see the slope in the shoulders again. It could just be the shadow of, of your head on your shoulder, but it does look like this left shoulder is still pulling up a little bit as the ball goes through. But still, left side, right side, everything's turning better here. That's much better. Very good job. And then let the ball grow. And you kind of see it a little bit here. Ball goes up, up, hands go down, ball still kind of going up. And then you're kind of clamping out, just a little tension. And then with that right foot coming so far back, that means, uh, once again, you're kind of losing tension. You're kind of falling back into the circle a little bit. Catching that, man, 270-ish. Not bad. But yeah, you can see most of the tension in this turn is coming through that left side. Need a little bit more right side, so you got to catch a little bit deeper, work that right side a little bit more before that left side starts getting into it. And that'll help kind of cement that right leg into the ground and help you finish with a little bit more direction. So, yeah, dude, uh, great job on improving since last video. Like I said, your whole body's turning with the hammer better. You have a little bit more tension and direction, which is great. Just like I said, some minor things you can change, controlling that left shoulder still, and then um, making sure you you know, let the ball grow naturally towards the sector. So, 
yeah, good job. Let me know if you have any questions. Always here to help. If anybody, yeah, if anybody else out there would like a technical analysis, hit me up on Instagram, SD Throws. Email me, sdonley757 at gmail.com. Always happy to help. Thanks for watching. Sean Don, peace and out.